Hi, I'm Alicia Nelson and this is my reflection video blog. So the first question is, what was the purpose of the speech? It was really to kind of help us that realize that we need to do a lot of research and we really need to know our stuff when we're trying to push something and persuade someone to be a part of what we're selling. The second question, how did you feel going into the speech? Um, I didn't feel too confident about it. Um, I had done my research, but I didn't know if I had enough evidence. If I could go back, I would probably find a little bit more evidence if I had a little more time to do so. I was okay though. I knew that I would do okay presenting wise. How did you work to make sure the speaker ethos were high? I basically just tried to engage my audience, I tried to look presentable, I tried to be approachable, and I tried my best to just seem like an, a generally open person. Was your technology adequately prepared in terms of audio quality, clarity of the video, image, and satisfactory recording device, charged and ready to go? What could be done differently or better? I feel like I was adequately prepared, but I know that I don't have the best quality camera. I do think the audio comes in relatively well though. In terms of structure and organization, what element felt natural to you and what felt odd? I guess the talking part I felt came naturally, however I definitely believe in the self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, I got a lot more nervous because having both a camera on me and an audience just adds that extra pressure. When I'm doing it just in front of an audience, I'm usually okay. And when I'm doing it just in front of a camera, it's perfectly fine. But the fact that I had both together, that's what felt really odd to me. How did you consider your audience when developing your speech? How did your audience respond to your speech? Well, I opened up kind of with a question, like, how does our education affect our lives? Like, do you realize how much our education affects our lives? I kind of asked a question to make to get the audience thinking of oh hey the arts kind of affects everything that we do so and I tried to be as open as possible to everybody what do you feel was your strongest persuasive argument my strongest persuasive argument I feel was the graduation rates like how um, schools with higher up like with really great art programs had a higher graduation rate than ones with really low I feel like that really kind of puts it in per into perspective how much art can change a kid's life. Do you feel like you have the advantage of solid, solid logos in your presentation and why? Well, logos are basically solid argument and I feel like I definitely did. I feel like I had some really great information and that probably is going to set me apart from quite a few other kids because they didn't have solid information. I had, I had a couple of different studies in my presentation. And I also had some further research on how art can affect a child's education in their everyday lives. Um, what did you do in your speech that worked? What didn't work? What areas can you target for improvement? Um, the area that I feel worked was just speaking in general. Um, I actually like speaking quite a bit. I don't mind speaking in front of an audience. What didn't work? Um, overall, I feel like my note cards didn't really work. A lot of the time, I was looking at my note card and I was trying to find where I was at, like on the note card because I only put a, like certain keywords, and sometimes I would get kind of lost. So the note cards are what kind of trip me up a little bit. And then, what areas can I target for improvement? Um, I would probably target my note cards. I feel like I could do a lot better job at getting them broken down into terms so I understand. Connect your learned experiences to class readings and concept. Include at least one specific chapter and a page number from the section to which you are referring. I feel like overall I can relate a little bit more to the ethics and that's on chapter 3, page 17. Ethics involve morals and the specific moral choices made by a person. Um, ethically, I am very much for being supportive of art programs. I very much like being involved in them. So as a part of my, I feel like that's just, it's one of my morals that we need to be more open and we need to be more considerate of our education. And I believe including art into our education every single day, I feel like that's something that we could really do and that would help improve our education system overall. So thank you so much for watching.